All right. Hello. We have about a 10 second lag. So I'm just going to introduce myself to those of you who don't know me. My name is Shirley. Um, I'm a single traveling female. And the name of my channel is Following the Yellow Brick Road. I am currently traveling in a fifth wheel trailer. It is an Alliance Avenue All Access 24RK. And I'm absolutely in love with it. It's the best thing that I've done for myself. So I just want to wish everyone um, a warm welcome and thank you for being here with me tonight. And let's say hello to everybody that's here. Let's see. William, first one in tonight. Hi, how are you? How's the weather? Um, I know that you had a nice day not long ago, but the weather's been a little iffy lately. So I hope it's treating you well. We had a really nice day here today. Hi, Dawn. Thank you for the reminder. Burgers and fries. There's Donnie and Pamela. I saw Pamela on here too. Hi guys, how are you? So it's windy in South Florida. Donnie, this is something I've actually been thinking about doing for a while now, but um, I just haven't taken the time to do it. But I'll, I'll work on that. Thank you for the recommendation. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun in my teardrop. Um, and in fact, the day that I sold it, I cried like a baby. Um, it was just, it was my first camper and I fell in love with it. And uh, it was just so easy to pack up and tow and go. It, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. There's Jennifer. Hi, how are you? How's things in um, your part of Texas? I hope it was as nice there as it was here today. Donna, hello. How are you doing? I saw um, your picture that you posted. You're out and about. So glad to hear that. I know it's got to feel good. And there's Pamela from Windy South Florida. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi to everybody else. Arizona gets it bad too, for sure. There's Don. Hi, Don. How are you? Make sure and say hi to Scotty for me. Um, I know you guys are getting excited about your trip coming up. That's pretty special. Trying out a new cruise line. That's always fun. Sue, hi. How are you? How are you and Bob doing today? Um, I guess it's probably windy where you're at, too. You'd think we'd have some nice weather soon. Uh, March is just about gone. So in like a lion, it should be out like a lamb very shortly. <laughs> uh, yes, say hi to Scotty for sure. Oh, it's Bob. Hi, Bob. Um, how's Sue doing? Is she still up in Ohio? Um, is her sister doing okay now? I know on your live the other night, it sounded like she was doing pretty good. Hi, Miss Kim. How are you? Nice to have you here. I love seeing your picture on Facebook. Looks like you guys were really having fun. Where's Mr. Daryl? I sent Daryl. I sent Daryl a picture. Um, was it, Yeah, it was last night. Um <laughs> I'll have to show you guys in a little bit. Um, I will say if we still had a house, we would not have this big a rig. Well, it just all goes with, you know, whatever lifestyle you're doing. Right? Right. That's nice. Good to hear. Good to hear. I um, took a drive into town the other day. I had to get some medicine refilled and I did see some, not the blue bonnets aren't as prevalent here around Lake Whitney yet. Um, so I didn't see any real good patches where I felt like I wanted to stop and 
try to fight traffic and take some pictures. Uh, so I'm still looking for a good patch of blue bonnets to be able to photograph. Biloxi, Mississippi. I was there not long ago myself. Where are you guys staying there? There's Miss Summer. Hi, Summer. Say hi to PJ if he's not on here already. Everybody's saying hi. She's in Florida with her sister's house and everybody's, okay, good. Well, good. I'm glad. He loved it. <laughs> oh. At Davis Bayou. That's a nice campground. I've stayed there before. I didn't this year. Um, just because sometimes getting in there, or at least the time that I was there, it, it was um, a little odd trying to find the entrance. And it might have just been me. Who knows? But it is a pretty campground once you get back in there. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad you went up 281. I drove up um, Interstate 35 most of the way. Um, and I finally got to a point where Google said, we found an alternate route. And I said, yes. Because <laughs> uh, there was a lot of construction and the traffic was really slow. Uh, so it made my trip a lot longer than it needed to be. So I'm glad that you went up 281. Blue bonnets everywhere. You lucky duck. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice place. So it's a good road to see them. Nice to know. I'm glad you're enjoying that campground. Doing everything to avoid 35. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, there may be better parts of it than what I went through, but uh, around, you know, Dallas, Fort Worth. Well, it was actually closer to Waco, I think, um, where it was just like one construction area after another and it was slow traffic and very frustrating. So I'm glad I'm out of that and don't have to think about it today. So yesterday, um, just because everybody's been asking about it, I've been promising to fix pork chops and video it. Um, and so I did yesterday and I snapped a picture and actually used it for a thumbnail. Um, and I sent it to Daryl last night because <laughs> um, he loves my pork chops. But um, that video will be out tomorrow evening 5 p.m. Central Time. So hopefully um, you'll get to catch it if you're interested in how I make pork chops at all. So um, I've still got to work on my uh, video from San Antonio. I haven't got to it yet, uh, but I've, I've been busy since I've been here. Uh, we did have a couple of days of rain since I've been here. Um, so that kind of slows you down a little bit too. But, you know, um, so let me tell you where I'm at first. I am at um, Steel Creek uh, Campground. It's an older Corps of Engineer park. Um, it's dry camping. There's no utilities at this site. There are water spigots between some sites. So, um, you know, if you're close enough, you can hook up, but I'm not. So I, um, it's between me and the next site over, but they're spaced quite a ways apart. Um, in fact, there's a whole um, little grove of trees between us, and I can't even see the next campsite. Um, so I have to drive my truck down and park on the side of the road and fill my water bladder and then bring the water back which I need to get some more water, but I'm only here for a few more days and I don't think I want to fill up my freshwater tank um, and then have to travel with that. I'm only going 20 miles, but still, I'll have a water hookup once I get to where I'm going next. But anyway, Steel Creek um, is a very nice little park. There are, uh, I'm in site 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, maybe 21, 22 sites, something like that. 
Um, so it's, there's not as many sites. Um, and some of them are better for parking than others. Uh, I, I need to go and walk around and do a video for you to kind of show you. But it's really very pretty. Um, I have a nice, I don't know that I added that photo. But if you saw the thumbnail, um, let's see if I can show you some of my site. I'm looking to see what I can find here to show you. Uh, we had a really pretty sunset the other night. This is at the back of my site. Um, so there we go. So um, in order to find this campground, it's not on reservation.gov. Um, but it's it's totally free for 14 days. You can camp here free. And I think there's three different older Corps of Engineer parks around the lake um, that are the same way. Uh, and you can't find them on reservation.gov. I found um, one just by looking. Another one through a... Uh, a video from uh, Lost on Land Again, Lola. Um, and she was at Cedar Creek Park. So I don't know. I may try that one after I go to my uh, last reserve site, which is at Thousand Trails, Lake Whitney. Um, but we'll see. I haven't clearly decided um, the direction that I'm heading after I leave here, I'm, I'm really trying to find some sites in Eastern Colorado, but I'm not finding any that are where I want them to be. Let's put it that way. There are Corps of Engineer parks around Pueblo, um, but I don't want to get into the mountainous areas, you know, a little further west. Um, if I go that way, I want to go to Vitavu. I've told you all that before. Um, so that's like my big number one place that I'd like to see again. And I've found a couple of places in Oklahoma. So if I go that route, um, it'll be a little bit different. So I don't know yet. Um, still looking. I'm going to be working on that this weekend because I've got to figure something out. I've got another, let's see, this is 28th, 9, 30, 31. So I've got three more days here. And then um, I have five days at another Corps of Engineer Park around on the other side of the lake. And then after that, I have three days at Thousand Trails around on that um, other side as well. Uh, just to get me through the eclipse, <laughs> I, I wanted to make sure that I had some place to park. Um, so that's kind of the way it is. All right, let me show you some of these pictures. All right, so this is, you saw the front of my site. So this is kind of looking from the back of my site a little bit, um, not all the way back. There's a, a shelter back further that you can't see, but there's nice space in between. Um, this is the very back of my site, uh, looking out towards the lake. And this is a little bit to the left of that little point there. Um, I don't have a lot of them loaded from my phone to my iPad. So that's about all I've got to show you. We did have a beautiful sunset a couple of nights ago. So it was very pretty. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what it's like here. There are pit toilets, which are actually very nice pit toilets. Um, there are dumpsters here, but there's no dump station. So I'm going to have to empty my black tank when I get to around on the other side of the lake. Thankfully, it's only 20 miles away. So, all right. Let's see. Let me see what I missed. I'm seeing something about 
will be out next week, but a different park. Yep. We're uh, totally not in the same park at all. I don't think we're even on the same side of the lake, are we? Are you getting hot during the day yet? No. Um, actually, earlier today, um, my thermostat said it was 83 inside of here, but it didn't feel like 83 to me. Um, but I think that's because I've got really good shade on, on this side where my big window is. And I, I don't know, about 45 minutes ago, I finally put my awning out because the sun was coming down to where it was really shining in the door. That's the first time I've had my awning out. I think since I left home. So it's been pretty crazy. But, um. Yeah, I mean, it's comfortable. I have the windows open. There's no fan running. And it's very comfortable in here. Is Donna going to be cruising? Don, my sister and I are planning our first cruise. Oh, cool. I'll have to check out your videos. Yeah, for sure. Where are you going to? Do you know yet? Um, leave on May 24th for a family cruise. Want to go to Alaska, and my sister wanted somewhere hot. <laughs> she won. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I Alaska is beautiful, but June is really the time to go there. So it is exciting, isn't it? There's PJ. Hi, how are you? What's up with you tonight? I'm sure you're probably working. That's all you ever do. Two bald eagles flying around trying to get a photo. Very cool. Yeah, I hope we get them. Yeah. That's nice. Doing the Mex Mexican Riviera in Cabo. Oh, you'll enjoy that. Everybody's saying hi. And Amy. Amy. Hi, Amy. How are you? Glad you stopped in. Yeah, it is a nice itinerary. <laughs> yeah, it's it's that time of year when people are, you know, and especially in Texas, it's getting warmer now and people are going to be out camping. So um, I'm hoping maybe after the eclipse, it might be a little bit easier. I don't know. We'll see. It's. It's kind of a toss up, I think, just because people are starting to get out and go camping. <sighs> yes, it is a very nice site. Um, if you'll, if you look later at the um, thumbnail, you see there's a very long driveway getting back here. Um, and this one, this one's a new trial and error for me because it's one of those where you are. Uh, 90 degrees from the road so you have to it it took me a little bit to figure out what I needed to do to get the rig back here and get straight thankfully I have a long driveway so um, you know I had room to straighten out before I got all the way back so that was very nice uh, so just new experiences I'm learning my way around um, parking this this much bigger rig um it's just different what can i say but i'm getting there i'm getting there thank you don it is it's a lovely site and i'm really enjoying it here um today i i had a lot of things to do hi mobile tech how are you thanks amy <laughs> it is very pretty um, I'll try to get some more pictures later on. I just, I don't know. I've been, I've been busy trying. To, this is the first time that I've sat for more than five days in a spot um, since I left home. And when you're only somewhere for five days, which is better than three, granted, but by the time you get everything out, you get everything settled and you go see a few sites and you come back, then it's time to start backing up and moving on. Um, so. 10 days is, 
is like a slice of heaven for me. Um, it's as close to 14 as I've gotten so far. And I'm really enjoying it and taking my time and getting some things done that I needed to get done. One of them, like I said, was going after prescriptions. Um, I had to drive 38 miles to get to a CVS to get my prescriptions filled. But the pharmacy was fantastic because they had five staff members in the pharmacy at one time. It was amazing. And it only took about 10 minutes for me to get for them to fill my medicine. So I was really thrilled with that. Um, but we did enjoy the drive. I took the dogs with me. It was cool enough. I could leave them in the truck for 10 minutes and they were fine. Um, I need to uh, get to a grocery store, but I'm kind of wanting to wait until I get around on the other side of the lake. Uh, there is a Walmart in Hillsboro, I think it is. But there's always also um, in Whitney, there's a Brookshire. Um, I don't know, Jennifer, if you know anything about Brookshire's, uh, what kind of store they are. But if you have any information, that would be helpful. Um, but there's some things that I always get at Walmart that I know they carry that um, usually I'll make a trip into Walmart just to get everything that I need. Not on the same side. I didn't think so. There's Henry and Leanne. Hi, guys. How are you tonight? Hoping your weather is fine. I'm waiting for um, Ken and Carla to pop in here. I talked to them earlier. They said they'd be here, but um, they had something that they had to do this afternoon. So um, I don't know if they're going to make it or not. I'll be area camping if you want. That would be great. Jennifer, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Watch out for bridges. Always. Yeah, I'm always watching. Um, and I usually look at my route on all stays because you can check the, uh, the clearance on all stays. It's also good because you, you know, if you're worried about mountain grades or things like that, you can check, uh, road grades on all stays as well. So it's a very good app to use. See where he parks in that area. Okay, thank you. Get a good boat driver. <laughs> I'm not going boating. It is a great cruise. Um, my husband and I did it in 2011, and it was absolutely amazing. You would love it. Oh, good. For 10 days. Not during the rally. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in Sturgis during the rally. Hey, Henry. Hey, Leanne. Everybody's saying hey. Where are the wise guys? Well, I'm going to let them break that news. I'm not going to tell tales out of school. So... Slow rolling north, and I've noticed it's getting still getting in the 30s up north. Uh, well, I haven't even looked that far yet. Those 90 degree sides are tough, yes, they are. Um, so, and it's you know, in my small little you know, in my teardrop in my 20 foot trailer, when I had a site like this, I always did. I don't know how many of you have heard about it or seen it, but um. I learned this from Long Long Honeymoon, where you do the scoop. Does anybody know what the scoop is? So you, um, wherever your site is, you kind of swerve in to the end of the driveway and then back out and then straighten up in the road. And so then the end of your trailer is pointed towards um, the site, towards your drive. Uh, and, it, and it helps, but... I don't know if that really works with a fifth wheel on a 90 degree turn like that. So I had to figure out um, that I can't be too far over on, on the right hand side of the road. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to have enough room for straightening out my truck. Um, so it's just a whole new learning process for me. All these wild turns when I'm used to just little bitty incremental turns to get my small little trailers in a spot. 
So I'm, I'm learning guys, just, you know, I'm getting it. I've, I haven't been in a place where I wasn't able to park yet. That doesn't mean that it won't happen soon, but so far I've been okay. So we'll see. Oh my gosh, it's going to snow again. Sunday morning. Well, I hope you don't get a lot. I hope it's just a light dusting. Like the 90 degree sides. Yeah, they're not, they're not um, the best. Or to Don, hope to be in Washington by May 5th or 6th. Well, that soon. Brookshires are good. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks, Donna. Yes, exactly. Um, this one, thankfully, doesn't have one of those narrow roads that you find in some campgrounds. Um, so it's, you know, the road is big enough for two cars to pass each other at the same time. So... Thankfully, that worked out. But, you know, until I figured it out, I just, you know, I would back up and say, no, that's not right. And I'd pull forward again. The whole road was empty. It's, um, there's traffic here. There's a lot of local people that come in and out, but it's not like horrendously busy. So I had plenty of time to, um, do my thing and get parked without being a nuisance to someone else, which is nice. We were at, uh, that I liked, but since Hester, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can find one that's not as difficult to park in, I would choose that as well. As you talk to him too. <laughs> oh, Bridge in the drink. Hi. Hey, Baron Don. How are you doing? Stayed at that CEO you're at. And that Thousand Trails Lake Whitney. Brookshire Brothers is nice, but it's more expensive than Walmart. I kind of figured that would be the case. Well, nice that you've stayed in these parks before. Um, I, I'm really enjoying it here. Um, I got a really good site and thankfully I have enough solar which has been very nice. Zoom. Do Zoom. That's an idea. <laughs> but anyway, um, plenty of sunshine. Um, it's bringing my battery back up every day. So far, I haven't had to run my generator, which has been great. Um, but I did. Uh, I'll have to show you what I did. So when I left home, I knew that my battery on my generator was, was bad and I didn't, I just forgot to get it replaced while I was at home. I don't know why there, other than the fact that there was a, a million things going on at home, um, before I left. So it is what it is. So I was having to use the pull cord to start the generator and I did have to use it a few times. So, uh, when my son-in-law helped me uh, bring it to the camper and put it on the carrier, I had him put it, face it so that the pull cord was uh, out where I could get to it easily, which worked great. Um, but then I installed a battery just a few days ago and got that done, and it works just fine now. So the then I had to figure out a way to get it turned around because uh, the access to be able to change the oil is on the side that was facing the rig. So today I tackled that. I've been thinking about it for the last couple of days about how I wanted to do it. And um, I, I got it done. <laughs> um, it was it was not easy, uh, but it wasn't as horrible as I thought it might be. So let me show you what I did. All right. So this, well, I, I had kind of already started. So you see, I have my two step stools there. 
because I needed some height uh, in order to be able to lift up on that generator. That generator weighs 100 pounds and it has gasoline in it. So it's about probably 110 pounds. And I'm short with little arms and little legs. And to raise 110 pounds up, uh, I needed some height. So I placed my stools carefully. That way I had good solid footing. Um, and I just would scoot the generator around a little bit at a time. Um, here's with it facing almost when I had it almost facing forward. Um, and then I got it flipped around so that now I have access to the door to the panel um, so that I can change my oil. And once I get the oil changed, then I'll take the uh, Lego blocks out from underneath of it and, and put it back where it goes. So, but that was a chore. <laughs> so anyway. All right. It's Brookshire is a Texas-based brand. Well, maybe that's, it's spelled Brookshire, but um, maybe they just say Brookshire. Texas-based small grocery stores. Yes. COA camping around Lake Whitney. Yes. Um, but like I said, there are, there are some older parks that will not show up in recreation.gov. I don't know if you were on when I said that, um, Jennifer. But anyway, I, I would appreciate any help. Hi, Jim. How are you? How you doing? Nice to see you on here tonight. Well, up around that time. Oh, cool. Very busy and crowded. I can imagine because it's like the only one around here so um i'm not surprised at that so thankfully i don't have to you know go in with my rv still attached <clears throat> all right thanks thank you very much um i got it done you started hunting the snow. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 65 for the high today and sunny. Oh, that's nice, Henry. That's a good temperature. Very nice weather. I don't mind 65 at all. Um, I, In fact, it, it just feels comfortable to me now. When I was at home before I started doing this, I, I had to have the house at 72 degrees. But now I'm happy with 65. I turned my thermostat to like 58 at night. And then I, I warm it up in the morning. Kim and I kind of kind of use Kim and Daryl's philosophy. They don't turn their furnace on at night at all. <laughs> And then they just get up and turn it on in the morning. Um, but I I can't take like when it gets down to 45 degrees inside, I can't do that. I can do 55. 58 is much nicer. I'm trying to stay away from 60. I'm trying to, you know, conserve as much propane as I can. And my battery. Uh, because right now, you know, I'm just on solar. <clears throat> Yeah, there narrow roads are never a good thing. Blanket, hello. <laughs> you are 75. 75 what? Oh, at your thermostat? You don't look 75. <laughs> Time to bowl. Love you guys. Okay, William, thanks for coming in tonight. I appreciate it. Say hello to Pat and your mom. I put a link above with the Corps of Engineer Parks. Okay. Did I miss it? There's mm -hmm. limited room before four. Yeah. Um...
I don't see the link, Jennifer. I know I worry from time to time that she's got this. I'm doing good. <clears throat> Y'all think I'm decrepit, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. Do not even try pulling your RV into that hill. It's like a circus. <laughs> uh, clown town. <laughs> All right. Well, thankfully I don't have to. You know, that's why I'm going to go either before I leave here or after I get to my next Corp Engineer Park. A small electric blanket. Um, I don't really need an electric blanket. I have one of those um, microfiber blankets, the one that Candace made me with all the kids' pictures um, and their family photos on it. And that thing keeps me toasty on top of my quilt um, and the foam mattress. So I stay plenty warm. Um, so 55 or 58 is it's fine. Uh, and when you, I first get out of bed, I'm still warm from being covered up. And I have my nice thick robe with me. I finally brought that with me from home this time around. So, uh, we sure don't. And it's been 25 in the rig before. Said it's 98 to 6 under the sheets. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. You have to you have to cuddle up, but see, I don't have anybody to cuddle with. It's just me, so you have to kind of stay in that one small warm spot that you're in and try not to move anymore. And you have to. I don't see the link either. Yeah, I didn't see it, Jennifer. Um, but maybe you can just uh, send it to me in an email if nothing else. Henderson, Nevada, and the wind is terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. But, yeah, I'm not surprised going a little bit further north. Yeah. 68 is a good temperature, um, but I'm just trying to conserve. <laughs> um, I've heard just through Facebook uh, she's at Brooks Rehab in Jacksonville, which is a very good rehab facility. Um, she's still having some issues with swallowing. Um, they're working with speech therapy and occupational therapy. Um, I'm not sure if her PT has started yet. I don't, I don't recall if I saw something about physical therapy or not, but you know, she's making small improvements, you know, all the time. And there's going to be good days and bad days, just like we all have. And then once you go through something like that, um, you know, you're going to have days where you're doing therapy and you're feeling really good. And the next day you might just be pooped and just ready to um, take a nap and rest and, and recover from what you've already accomplished. So it may take her a while to get back on track, but uh, don't give up hope. I don't think Sharon's going to for sure. A bigger dog will keep me warm. Yeah. Uh, I don't need a bigger dog though. Cause I'll, I'll tell you sometimes these two kind of drag me around as it is. And I don't need a, a bigger dog wanting to pull me down the street. <laughs> Maybe there's a blocker on the live. Um, I think that you have to maybe be a moderator in order to add a link, Jennifer. I think that's what it is. Um, so that's probably why you can't do it. But if you'll just send me uh, the, the link in Gmail, I would appreciate it. Or you can just send it to my phone. <sighs> Continuing to pray for sure every day, but better every day. Yes, in rehab. Yeah, she's still progressing. So uh, I've already said all that. <laughs> Gives updates each day. Most of the times, the worst is getting in the bed at night. The sheets are cold. Yeah. I'm sure that's true. Uh, 
northern Nevada, and it's been windy here too. So what what part of Nevada is Hendersonville in, uh, Kim and Daryl? You're so welcome, Dawn. I can see the link. Well, yeah, you can because you're typing it in. But uh, that's just a, I think that's even a YouTube thing that unless you're a moderator, you can't add a link. Um, so that's, I'm sure that's what it is. Heated seats that I'm using it right now can't seem to get warm. And it's nice out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you get cold, it's just, it takes forever to warm up. What happened? What happened to Sharon? Sharon Childers. Uh, Bobby and Sharon. Um, she had a stroke uh, a while back. Mobile time. Uh, yeah. So they've already told you. Uh, we'll be Bobby. You just never know in life. We never know. And that's why we have to be thankful and grateful every single day of our life. Um, and do the best that we can uh, to be all that we can be and see all we can see. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish now. But Sharon's tough cookie for sure. And she's coming back well. Glad she's on the mend. No, they were at home uh, with their family. You love cold sheets. Yeah. You guys are already answering all these questions. Right. You have to send in Daryl first. That's a good idea. <laughs> well, yeah, give him about 30 minutes to warm up the bed and then you can go to bed. And then make him roll over. You know, make him warm up your side of the bed. And then when you get in, he can roll over and warm up his side of the bed. Oh, my gosh. Yay! I haven't said anything. So um, if you want to say anything, you can say it. <laughs> we'll have to start a new prayer page. Yeah, for sure. All right. So you have the floor, um, Miss Carla, if you, if you want to, um, you don't have to, but anyway, it's there for you if you want to. I've just been talking about, um, my campsite, my campground, the other parks that I'm going to be going to around Lake Whitney and, um, you haven't missed a whole lot, really just a lot of chit chat. I do tell Carla. Everybody wants to know what's going on. I had, it was just a fun phone call today. So, and that's all I'm going to say because it's not my place to say. <laughs> and there it is. It's so funny. They just got their Arctic Fox all fixed up. Got new air conditioners, got a new roof, got new suspension, bought a new couch, had it all decked out, and decided to buy a fifth wheel. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what she told me. <laughs> she called me and she said, um, you're on the list. And I said, oh, no, am I in trouble? What kind of list is this? And she said, you're on the list of people who get Ken to do things that he shouldn't be doing. <laughs> and then she told me that they bought a fifth wheel. However, when I talked with Ken, the story changed drastically. It seems that really... It was Carla that wanted the fifth wheel. <laughs> Ken had to think about it for a little bit, but he gave in and, and got it for her. So. <laughs> so anyway, we're looking forward to seeing pictures of your new rig. That's so exciting. Um, 
Do you want to tell them, Carla? So I'm, I'm really happy. Yeah, congratulations. It's a lot of fun. Um, I know it, it was very exciting for me to go from my small little 24. Oh, there. I see it, Jennifer. It's in my email. Um, so anyway, thank you. I appreciate it. So it's fun, you know, to go from one to a, to a newer rig and, uh, there, you know, I, I like that, that you have one now. <laughs> so who wanted the new rig? So I just told you. Yeah. Great news. So, you know, I think Carla's eye sparkled and Ken said, oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's kind of what happened. So if not, you can tell us the real story, Carla. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, I'll tell you what, I'm tired. Um, what else did I do other than walk dogs, you know, three times today? Um, thankfully, they're, they're resting right here beside me being very quiet. Um, they had a nice walk just before uh, I got ready to start the live, which is good timing. Um, but, you know, yesterday I did um, cook the pork chops and made the video. And then um, I put it together last night. And I, I did not sleep worth a darn last night. You can probably see my eyes are really starting to look tired. I didn't go to sleep until 5 o'clock this morning. Actually, about 5.17 was the time when I last looked at the clock. I just had a horrible time trying to get to sleep. And I kept trying to use that CPAP. I think I'm going to send it back. I'm just, it's, it's so annoying to me. And it's really not worth it uh, because my sleep quality is not good. I, I, I wake up and my nose and... Uh, right here is itching from that little mask and it's not big it just goes over the tip of my nose and right here and that's it but it's driving me crazy and i can't i can't sleep so i don't think it's helping you know you gotta have rest so anyway i think i'm gonna call them and uh, tell them i'm gonna send it back yeah for sure Congratulations on the fifth wheel. Do the record that I will not buy a fifth wheel. <laughs> Don't say that because you never know. <laughs> oh, yeah, sleepless nights, just no fun. You know, and, and I think if I could tolerate it, that there are some benefits to it. And the nights where I've you know, slept with it on for about six or seven hours. I feel rested when I wake up, uh, which is a good thing. But when it takes me so long, when it takes me forever to get to sleep with that crazy thing on me, I don't see that it's helping. Yes, exactly. Pitch, it's not worth it. Quality of life for sure. Exactly. Exactly my point. I just, I need, I need my rest. And the only way I can get it is, uh, by not having that darn thing on. And then, you know, I'm, I'm new to this boondocking with uh, a new fifth wheel running on solar and the thought sometimes of just turning the inverter on and leaving it on all night just makes me cringe because I don't know if my battery will last. And it always does. Um, but I'm a worry wart when it comes to that. Um, you can ask Don and Kevin. I just, um, I'm very cautious in my usage. Do you and us, Donna, we have no plans to do a fifth wheel. <laughs> yeah. I think the CPAP is working. If I could use it. But it's, it's just so irritating. It's like... Um, it, the air kind of seeps out a little bit up here on where my nose changes with the curve. 
um, and the air seeps out. And I, and I think that that constant little breeze is what makes my nose itch so bad. Um, and then, and so I'm scratching and I have to pull the mask down to scratch and then push the mask back up. And 10 minutes later, I'm doing it all again. And it's just, it's very annoying. Plus then I have all my hair that I have to worry about because I don't like hair on my face. So it's like, try to pull all the hair back and get all the straps where they need to be so that I don't have any hair flying in my face under all these little, um, uh, fabric straps um you know getting around my nose or my mouth or my eyes it's insane and it's annoying um and i just don't think i can do it i just don't the bumper pole folks are gonna stick together <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know if they are a benefit or not. And I've been using one for years. Yeah, see, that's that's the whole thing. I just, I don't know. I would have a separate power bank just for the CPAP. I could throw that CPAP out the window and it wouldn't bother me at all. Yes, I am a worry wart when it comes to my um, battery. Uh, I don't, I don't like to do things that I think are going to run my battery down. Get a blue eddy. That's money. Money. <clears throat> I've spent enough money lately. Whereas one and swears it helps. And I can sleep because he's not snoring. Well, I have to worry about anybody else. It's just me and the dogs. If the dogs want to complain because I snore, that's fine. They can do that. But I don't have to, I don't have to worry about anybody else. And to be bare, Shirley does have reasonable concerns. Yes. Yes, I do. Exactly. It is a nightmare. Just pop a value. I don't have any of those. <laughs> uh, it would help. It would help. I could maybe take a Benadryl. I was almost there last night because my nose kept itching so much. And then today I was wondering, you know, as I'm dusting my blinds and um, the front door and everything, and there's, you know, yellow pollen all over everyone, I'm like, well, is, is that in the air? Is that what's maybe contributing to my nose being itchy? I don't know. I, I can't tell you. All I know is the only place I itch is right here. And I don't have watery eyes or a runny nose. It's just that itch from that air just constantly seeping out yeah exactly <laughs> i wish i had some oh yes i am your best friend <laughs> oh. do i have an air purifier no no mother's little opera that's what they used to always call them that's so funny I haven't heard that in a very long time, Donna. <laughs> Valium used to be the drug of choice when my mom was raising kids. They put they put uh, a lot of women on Valium back then. Exactly. <laughs> they do work. They do. But that's not something I want to get into. I'm not a medicine taker to begin with. So thinking, you know, if I had to take Valium to use a CPAP, really? I mean, does that even make any sense? I don't think so. I don't think it makes sense at all. Killing your eyes, nose, and throat. Yep, and I've gone through a box of contacts in a month. Well, thankfully, I don't have to worry about contacts, but um, a couple of campgrounds ago, I had a lot of watery guys. Sorry, guys, it's getting to be that time of day. Um, you know, and uh, runny nose, but I don't have any of that here. There's no pine trees, and and usually it's pine pollen this time of year that bothers me. But I'm far enough west now that uh, I'm not seeing those trees right now. Um, changing the filters that I can. Well, I have new filters in my Berkey, so I don't have to worry about that. And it stays clean. It's over by the sink. I wash it off when I do dishes um, and clean it, you know, after I um, 
when I tear down, uh, before I put it back up, I wash it out good. Yeah, I bet. No, the air purifier works, not the volume. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I could look into something like that. Lots of cedar trees in Whitney. Well, I, I mean, the pollen here isn't bothering me. Um, it was just already on, you know, it, it's outside on my windows it, and, uh, let's see, where was I last? I was, um, Cranes, Cranes Mail Park near San Antonio. Um, and before that I was in Louisiana for just, just for the night. Um, and before that I was in Mississippi. So, you know, it's just been kind of accumulating since I left home. Um, so I just, I need to go in and clean everything, but I've been, you know, going from one place to another and I haven't really had time to do a lot of deep cleaning. So that's why I say I've been kind of busy. I've been trying to get things done while I'm here. Uh, and I still have to change the oil on my generator. I still have to find, um, where I'm going to be going after I leave Lake Whitney. And I started working on taxes, um, yesterday. So I've got to finish that up too, um, and get a video out and <laughs> go to the grocery store and blah, 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 blah. I've got a lot of stuff to do. So it's just going to take time to get everything done. But well, well, yeah, but I, I need a place to send it to. And right now I'm not in a place where I can really say I'm going to be there for 14 days to do something like that. Dealership guy was mopping floors with pine something. He had an asthma attack. Oh, I'm sorry. I love pine salt. That's what I've been mopping my floors with. Pine salt's a, a favorite. Ooh, a Berkey video. Oh, well, not a lot to show you, but I guess I could. Definitely prefer a purifier over medication. Yeah, for sure. Should have had a value before going in there. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's true. Probably the yellow mine control powder the government is spraying. You're so funny, Mobile Dad. Oh, there. I'm sorry. Just a joke. I don't think it's much of a joke. I'm sure they're trying. You understand? Cool. I love pine salt too. Well, there's Mr. Daryl here to solve all your problems, except for ice cooking. Can't beat on the beach or eating Shirley's pork chops slowly. <laughs> did you like that picture, Daryl? You didn't like my green beans, though, did you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, anyway, you get a special mention in the video that I'm doing for that. <laughs> so, anyway. I, I think about you every time I fix pork chops now, so. And I'm going to have the second one tonight. I'm going to stick it in the oven and warm it up with my leftover mashed potatoes and gravy. That gravy was so good last night. Even if I did make it myself, I have to say, I did a pretty darn good job. <laughs> so anyway. And right now it's 6.58, so I'm going to be getting off of here so I can go do that before it gets too late. Because um, I like, I really like to go to bed at 8 o'clock, but it's just way too early. And I need to condition myself because before long it's going to be light until almost 9 o'clock. So I'm trying to stay up between 9 and 10 o'clock now. So if I can eat around 7.30, 8 o'clock, then I don't feel so bad. Have a good night. Yes. Hope I find some blue bonnets. Yes. I'm, I'm hopefully going to take a ride the next day or two and see if I can find some. Who talk, just made it under the wire for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Life is good. All right. Y'all have a good night. Carla, send pictures. I'm really excited for you guys. Okay. Talk to y'all next week. 
be kind to one another. Love you guys. He does love my pork chops. <laughs> okay, everybody. Your dinner is ready. Okay. Bye.